And we are back for some more Uncharted Waters. We are uh, back to Catalina's story. Going to do some more piracy on the high seas. Get some new ships. Oh, no, no. We are, we are basically done with mercantilism. Helps if I'm on the window, isn't, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> game will resume at the port of Nicosia on December 1st, 1523. I'm pretty sure we were going to do something here, and I don't quite remember what. Um, let's see, we're still waiting for ships to be done, and we have no actual... Uh, We don't have any actual cargo, so we're not doing trading. We wanted something... something story-wise. Uh, did it happen last time? I think it did, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Um, I mean, I've hoisted the Jolly Roger a couple times. So we were here, and our targets escaped. What do you want with me? I'm a vagabond sailor. Can we hire you? Hey, are you interested in sailing with us? I'll work for you if you pay me 40 gold pieces per month. Sure! Okay, it's a deal, Commodore. Al Fossey. Alright, that works. So, I'm not sure if we were supposed to have gotten some information, but, uh, yeah, it's come back to me now. Um, Joao had uh, escaped and uh, sailed away while we did some back and forth looking around for him. So I guess we'll go uh, just get back to sailing and uh, see what uh, comes of it. Commodore, I'm not very happy working for you. I think I'll stay in this town. I literally just hired you. Yeah, but I got my 40 gold now. I'm good. Gotta be kidding me. Yes, yes. Then will you give me a raise? Yes. Thanks, I thought you would understand. Hoy there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Uh, let's check the supplies. Uh, we're good. We're good. Alright. So yes, we will shove off. Twelve days is fine. All right, so, why is there no port on roads? Been out at sea for three days. Wanna see if we can uh, find uh, some people to pirate. seen anyone to pirate. Got away. Peeked out at us and then we're like, nope. Alright, well let's stop at this port at least. Come on, we're going to stop at Tripoli. Is this okay? Sure. Al's navigation level and leadership and seamanship and knowledge went up. You can see how you might have a, a morale mechanic for officers based on prestige of ship they're in. Yeah, I, I, it's probably something like that. And the the pay is random, so I imagine that there's also an element of how much they get paid uh, also affects that. Well, hello. Hi, Catalina. I was looking for you. Oh, it's you. So, Joao was in that port, just as I said, wasn't he? Things didn't go very well there. I bet this happens, like, at the first port you go to. Well, I just told you to go there. I never told you to let him go and get all tied up. 
How dare you say that? People love the story how that old man tied you up like a bow. Shut up, dog face. I'll teach you to make fun of me. Whoa, hold on a minute there. I won't stop Andreas if you were only looking for us so you could tease us, you weasel-faced numbskull. That's a good question. Does numbskull have a B in it? Ouch! No, ouch! Uh, it just slipped out of my lips. Ouch! Uh, the true reason is, ouch! Uh, I've got some information for you. Information? That must be about Joao. Uh, let me go. That's enough, Andreas. Stop it. I thought I'd never breathe again. Oh my god, you have a tickle monster on your team. Tell us what you know. I will, but on one condition. Andreas, he's all yours. Have fun. Uh, okay, no, uh, I'll, okay, I'll tell you. Uh, there's someone who knows where Joao's fleet is. Who is it? A Portuguese nobleman of high rank, but I'm not supposed to tell you his name. You're not supposed to tell me his name, huh? Not supposed to tell me his name. Well, this just seems like it's a trap. That sounds suspicious. If he is a man of high rank, why can't he identify himself? I haven't finished yet. That nobleman has a grudge against the Francos. That's why he's been following Joao's activities. If you wish, he can help you, he says. Sounds too good to be true. It might be a scheme. It isn't a scheme, but he has a request of you. His son has a crush on the on a girl called Lucia in the Lisbon Cafe. Oh, so she's a Lisboner. He wants to see her alone, but because he's a nobleman, he can't see her in public. So he wants you to take her to meet him at another port. If you can do that, he'll let you know where Joao is. Is that all? It's easy to kidnap a girl. Dude, Andreas. Not a kidnapping. We need to take her out secretly. I'm not too keen on this scheme, but if we can find out where Joao is... It's a great opportunity. You'll accept the deal, right? Okay, it's a deal. Where do we bring the girl? There's a port called Sweta, just south of Lisbon. Bring her to the lodge there. I'll report our deal to the nobleman. Good luck! Just walks right through Andreas. Any day now, Joao will be within our grasp. It's not a bad deal. It's good to have some support from someone. Hey, sailor, you like our minty? <laughs> Anyone here that we can meet? Nope. North Africa is south of Lisbon, yes. This is true. May I help you? You already have the maximum of 20 items. You'll have to sell th something first. Oh, there is a max. Ooh. I suppose I should sell some of these treasures that I have. Wide heavy solid gold bracelet set with diamonds. Ah, uh, no. Not that long of a way. I believe Sweto was still uh, um, controlled by uh, Portugal at this time, too. Are you going to give me any extra money for any of these? So that is the cheapest one so far. Alright, this is this is by far the cheapest. We'll uh 
We'll sell this silk scarf. Alright, what do you got? You can give them to people. You can give them to the, uh, the ladies in the ports to get information and stuff like that, as far as I know. Short saber, leather armor, telescope. Let's go ahead and stay at the inn. Check in. And nope. Get me up at 2 a.m. Nap time! Alright, what a black market items are there? Tax-free permit to the Ottoman Empire? Yes. If I was still doing trading, that would be really good. That would be really, really good. But I'm not. So let's shove off. After resupplying. Let's load up on food there. Load up on water there. And just like supply all. That's fine. I will. Let's go ahead and shove off. Yeah. Okay, good. I can go this way pretty easily. Hello. Spanish battle fleet. No, I don't want to deal with you. Oh, it's really pirates? I can go fight pirates. Nope. Ducked into a port. The Portuguese battle fleet. No, I don't want to deal with you. It's night anyway. Turkish battle fleet under a Jack Rackham. Something tells me that this is going to be a pirate fleet because uh, that does not look like a, uh, a Turkish man or Turkish name or anything like that. Commodore, that fleet may look like a battle fleet from Turkey, but I think they're really pirates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do I know? Jack looks a little unhinged there. Yes, that too. Also the name Jack Rackham. Kind of gives it away. Hello? Spanish battle fleet, Hernan Chavez. Oh, oh, it's heading north. It just is having trouble getting into port, I think. Jack Rackham, very Turkish name, yeah. I feel like that's a reference to something. Alright, let's go visit the Lisboners. Uh, let's save state just in case, though. Lisbon, Iberia, capital of Portugal.
All right, so there is an item shop. Commodore, let's finish our work as soon as possible. Oh, Calico Jack, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. That's why I, that's why I knew the name. Got it. Commodore, be careful. This is a Portuguese port. I'll be fine. Alfonso Adelan Adelande? What do you want with me? I am Commodore Andlade of Portugal. I command a battle fleet. You have any gossip? I heard there aren't really any capable sailors in Barcelona. I mean, it makes sense that you might say that. Uh, Miguel Solis? What do you want with me? Yeah, I'm a vagabond sailor. Well, a navigator called Reese is looking for a job in Sevilla. Alright, can I hire you? Hey, are you interested in sailing with us? I'll work for, for you if you pay me 30 gold pieces per month. Sure. Okay, it's a deal, Commodore. There we go, another hire. Let's check in. And let's check out at 2 a.m. Sweet dreams. So this is a little early for Jack Rackham. Just, uh, just a teensy bit. Commodore, let's finish our work as soon as possible. I'm working on it. For limited time only, we are selling some really special items that you don't usually see. Alright, what do you got? I'm sure you'll find something you like. Quadrant, telescope, and a rapier. Nope, don't care. So we need to find the girl in this cafe. There's a woman over there. Do you like anything to eat or drink? She's beautiful, but not young. Wow! No, nah, not an old lady like her. Double wow! Jeez, on... <sighs> Gonna have to keelhaul uh, Andreas at some point. Who are you calling an old woman? Oops, she heard us. Of course, everyone heard you, you loud mouth. Old lady, my foot. Just get lost, children. You're not welcome here. Blast, let's get out of here. We're not having much luck with this older generation. First Rocco, now this. Excuse me, are you Lucia? No, Lucia is my daughter. May I speak to Lucia? Why, yes, actually, if you're a traveler, tell her some interesting stories. She'll be delighted. Lucia, you have a customer. Lucia! Yes, mother. This lady wants to talk to you. Are you a stowaway? Oh, I'm so envious. I'd love to travel, too. Anyone can travel if they have two things, a ship and plenty of courage. Yeah, I just need a ship. But I have to work here. That's true. Not to change the subject, but do you know a young noble who visits here from time to time? Yes, he comes here incognito. He is always kind and sincere, and he's very handsome. That man said he wants to meet with you, but he can't come here right now. He's asked me to bring you to visit him. Really? Would you like to go? He's in a port called Sweta, just to the south of Lisbon. Sweta, I heard it's beautiful. What luck, taking a trip and seeing you know who. Please take me. Oh my. I, I mean, I mean, I, I guess. Oh, oh, you, you didn't mean it that way. Got it. I got my bad, my bad. 
get ready quickly. Where's a good place to meet? Okay, I'll be ready as soon as possible. Wait for me at the lodge in two hours. Tell your mother so she won't be worried. All right. So what is the lodge? I don't actually remember what building symbol the lodge is. Is it this one? Come on, we should send Lucia to Sweta first. Okay, and is it this one? It's not the inn, I don't think. Commander, how did it go? Very well, she was very excited. We're supposed to meet here at, at her at the lodge in two hours. Uh, maybe it is the inn. That would always be open. Only one more hour now. Yes. Alright. How about now? It's almost time. Yes. I mean, it was 4.30 when we, when she's, actually it was 3.30 when she said to uh, meet her in two hours. I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. No, we just got here. Let's go to my ship. I'm so excited. Does she show up as an item? Lucia would be an item. Oh well. I guess it was Lodge. Oh hey there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Uh, let's go ahead and supply. Go ahead and supply all. That's fine. Let's get a sailing. Portuguese Merchant Fleet. No, it's night time. Yes. <laughs> Can't attack someone at night. What? Yes! <laughs> Stop your ship or we'll attack! Lucia's like, Oh, I didn't realize that I signed on with pirates! Yeah, why should we listen to you? Uh, because I'm going to kick your butt. I guess I'll fire on you. Why not? Rude. Double rude. Well, let's get down here and attack. I will challenge the enemy, uh, Commander. No, my new ships are not ready yet. It's gonna be like January. Alright, he's got a saber and half plate. I've got, uh, Shiva's magic sword, though, so... Now, I don't actually know what, uh, it, this sword is good with. Let's go with a, uh, a nice solid thrust first. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and just do a parry, see if that works. <laughs> yeah, nice. 
Oh, I can do a really good strike. Let's do it. Dang it. All right, that's okay. Uh, how about a block? Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, how about a thrust? Dang it. Parry? Dang it. Another thrust? Oh, I had a really good lash there. Alright, let's... Parry. Excellent. And a lash. Perfect. <laughs> we defeated the opponent. The enemy's flagship ran up the white flag. Catalina Aranso completely destroyed the Portuguese fleet. This triumph occurred on December 20th, 1523. Yeah, a little bit early for Rackham. We managed to seize 22,900 gold pieces and a velvet coat from those scurvy dogs. Capture ten enemy ships. We can add seven of them to our fleet. Nice. All right. Um, I forget which is better, a Carrick or a Now. Uh, 470. All right, Carricks are better. All right, this one will, of course, be the Paul. You're gonna have to rob me for that coat. coat. All right, whoops. Uh, let's go with... Any other people named Carrick that we can think of? Carrick Fergus. It's a place. Alright, another uh, Carrick. Uh, let's see. What do we want to go with? Um... Not a now, so we, we gotta go with something else. Um, Carrick, Carrick. Anything else that I can think of related to Carrick? If not now, then later. I already did those, Zerfall. This is a Carrick, not a now. I need other names. I also just go with garbage. Actually, you know what? I can I can actually uh, do the full name. Garbage. There we go. Doesn't matter. Gonna add this to the uh, fleet. All right. Um, it could be a scow, garbage scow. Okay, another Carrick. are not in this game as far as I know. This got me a really good score in uh, um, Scrabble once. Zebek. Got one more uh, Carrick. And 
Starting with a Paul too. There we go. And one more. And this one will be the leader. There we go. Yeah, I know what a Z-Beck is. It, it got me a, uh, and it, specifically it was the Z spelling because it wouldn't take the, I didn't, ha it wouldn't take the X for some reason, but, uh, um, ooh, lots of silver. People can look it up on their own. All right, uh, let's see. I did use a little bit of gunpowder, so let's grab that. Fine on gunpowder. Did you do any? You did not. Let's just get some on you. That's fine. There is a Z-Beck in this game. Oh, okay. I did not realize it. Actually, you know what I should do? Let's load some more food up uh, over here. And here. I wish this menu was a little bit more responsive. It feels sluggish. There we go. Alright, we don't need that stuff. It is okay. Help! SOS, save me! There's no saving you. <laughs> Turkish battle fleet, uh, Siddharth Kevin. Yeah, there are Zbex. There you go. There they are. All right, my mistake. I don't remember seeing any. Italian battle fleet, Ker Adin. They're really pirates. Allied with Portugal. I probably should have save stated before I uh, went in. So let's go ahead and do that right now, because uh, we might get in trouble. All right, well, let's go to the lodge first. Excuse me, but is a young Portuguese nobleman staying here? Yes, he's waiting for you. I also have a message for you from a man called Perot. Ross? He wants you to go to the cafe after you bring Lucia to the lodge. Thank you. Catalina, thank you very much. I won't forget your kindness. Wish you won't forget my generosity? I have an appointment, so I must leave now. Good luck. We don't find out who that uh, Portuguese nobleman is, huh? You notice that this game seems laggy in emulator? Hmm. Let's go ahead and sell off the uh, silver. 
Commodore. Let's go to the cafe now. Fine. We didn't kidnap her. Commodore, she looks happy. Feels good when you do a good deed for someone. Just says the pirate. And she was pretty. No wonder that noble woman nobleman likes her. He's probably a respectable guy, unlike those Francos. According to her, he is kind. According to her, he is kind, sincere, and handsome. I can't believe that somebody as sly as Shoao could also be a Portuguese noble. Hi, Catalina. It seems you safely brought Lucia to this port. So, Perot. Can you tell me where uh, Joao is? Uh, right, I forgot that was his name. Sure, Joao is in Alexandria. Andreas, Emilio, let's go. Nyerom. Nyerom. Good luck. Try not to botch up the job again. I'll botch you up. Is there an item shop here? Going to get to Alexandria and find out that Joao went to Cairo. I'll be like, can't I just walk across the, uh, can I just sail down the, the Nile and walk a little bit? No, not allowed. No. Commodore, be careful. This is a Portuguese port. Right, right, right. Jamila is our busiest waitress. Tip her ten gold piece first. All right, let's tell her a story. Um, how about uh, we'll talk to her about papyrus? Tall water plant that was used to make a form of paper in ancient Egypt. Wow, that's so exciting. Maybe that should have been. Wow, that's so exciting. Thanks for telling me. sale. We can sell and uh, sell stuff in Alexandria. Oh, hey there, matey. Will you be shoving off? I will. 24 days. Kind of tempted to go after him, but... Well, hello. Portuguese battle fleet with lots of galleons. Ah, it's pirates. All right. Uh, I should actually check out. we actually do Yeah, it's not great. All right, let's uh, let's start assigning some crew to uh, some of these ships to get a little bit better speed. Twenty. No. Howdy, Sealand. How's it going? Four.
There we go. That's working. And I'm going to want to uh, swap some people around as captains as well. Had a training seminar, seminar today. A nice change of pace from the day to day. Well, that's good. We're still waiting for our other ships to be uh, done. Did a little bit of uh, piracy. There we go. All right. Um, let's go with a point. Miguel Solis. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, I do have space for one more person, I think. Get back to being a uh, bookkeeper. I don't have a first mate or anything, though. Sailing our uh, fleet over to Alexandria to eventually get sold. <laughs> hey, it's Christmas, everyone. British merchant Oliver Adler. Well, I'm kind of full up on stuff, so you get to live, sir. you have an arbitrary fleet size limit? Eh, it's not that big of a deal, really. Like, I could have taken him and still gotten the money just from cat from attacking him and um, got whatever cargo he had and stuff like that. Commodore, crew was paid 360 gold pieces in wages. Oh my god, so much. Jeez. <laughs> it really is, actually. Commodore, we're gonna stop in Alexandria. Is this okay? Yep. My navigation level and leadership and seamanship went up. Ahmed's navigation level and seam leadership and seamanship and knowledge went up. Al's navigation level and leadership and knowledge went up. Nice. All right. Back to uh, some of my favorite music. You know, let me do some trading. Commodore, what should we do first? Today is the day I will defeat Joao. We must act carefully. Excuse me. You are? Otto Baines, I command a privateer fleet from England. What would a Commodore of England need from me? I have been following you since I saw you in Sweater. The pirate you were talking to in the cafe is Brett Perot, isn't he? Yes, he is. What about him? He's been linked with Marquis Marquis Martinez. Are you aware of that? Thunder Drummer, raiding us with a party of six. How's it going? Let me get you a uh, shout out there. What were you up to today? We are playing some Uncharted Waters New Horizons in Catalina's story. Doing a little bit of piracy. I have a, uh, a fleet laden with food right now. I see. So that nobleman Perot was talking about is Marquis Martinez. What about him? Well, then you are kidnappers. Where is Lucia? If you return her now, we'll save your life. 
you've been following me from Sweta, then how do you not know that she's in Sweta? What are you talking about? If you insist on making false charges, I'll dump you in the ocean as shark bait. Playing some Breath of Fire 3. Nice. That is a great game. I'm a big fan of that. Especially Momo. <laughs> Watch your mouth, pal. What? You shut up. Calm yourself, Andreas. Otto, why are you saying we kidnapped her? I just accepted Marquis Martinez's request to take her to Sweta. Are you saying that you did it without knowing who he is? I found out about this crime only by chance. Matthew, explain it to them. Yes, sir. A while ago, when I was eating at the cafe in Algiers, I overheard a conversation between Marquis Martinez and that pirate Perot. It seems Lucia inadvertently overheard a big secret of theirs. That's why they plotted her kidnapping. It was a clever idea. A woman like you invites her. The girl and her mother would not be suspicious. Yeah, a woman like me, a pirate? Is that really true? Why on earth would we lie? Blast Pro tricked us! Love Momo and Breath of Fire 3. Everyone is uh, sword fighting. She brings out a bazooka. I know, it's great. And Honey is adorable too. That means Lucia is in danger. Otto, I caused this terrible situation. I must take care of it, but I have to sell some ships first. You must do what you feel is right. While in the cafe, I also heard that Perot is heading for the Black Sea. Thank you for telling us. Hey, that's perfect, actually. So I can go get my ships. Now may I help you? Well, I need to sell my silver as long as I am here. Never bring a sword to, to a bazooka fight. Exactly. Let's sell off all of that silver. So that's gotta be Otto's theme that was playing in there, huh? Alright, let's see if there's anyone else that we can hire. It's closed, right. Still too early to, uh, for me to, uh, get some booze. Ah, nice. So you're at the end then, huh? It'll be 8 a.m. by the time I leave anyway, right? Yep, there we go. Layla is her best waitress. I could give her a gift. I could give her the Ruby Scepter. Yeah, so this is what all of these things are for. I should actually sell some of them. Let's tell her a story. Uh, let's tell her... Let's tell her about the papyrus! Tall water plant that was used to make a form of paper in ancient Egypt. Y you know I know about papyrus, right? Wow, that's so exciting. What an interesting plant that I already knew everything about, actually. <laughs> uh, Benito Gomez. Ahoy there, matey. How's life on the high seas? I am a vagabond sailor. Uh, let's go ahead and treat you. Are you buying me the cafe specialty? Seems like we'll get along well. I hate to brag, but I have a knack for leadership. All right, uh, can we hire you? Are you interested in sailing with us? I'll work for you if you pay me 60 gold pieces per month. Sure. Okay, it's a deal, Commodore. Excellent, got another person. All right, let's go ahead and find the shipwright. There it is. All right, and swap some. Uh, more fun to tell that story to the waitress in Cairo. <laughs> I mean, there's a, we're in the Delta. There's a lot of read, like, this area is uh, full of uh, uh, reeds. Or should be. Uh, let's see. I want to transfer. Let's 
So we'll see what we can uh, do as selling wise. And I don't need to take all the water if I don't want to. It's, that'll be okay. I will also need to remember to pull crew off as well. There we go. Alright. Right, let's load up with food there. Load up with food there. Load up with water there. And that's fine, actually. Yeah, we can just sell all these other ships. I don't need to take that water. Alright, crew. Nope, that's not what I want. I want transfer. Okay, pull them all off. Fine, and I will probably have some crew that will get dismissed as well. crew and we got 133 who are gonna be uh, kicked to the curb um, yep that's fine selling captured ships where the real money is made on the piracy route I did I, I did get some uh, good money from the uh, the piracy itself 22 uh, uh, yeah, 22,000. That was not bad. Alright, let's uh, sell the later now. Or the now named later now. That's fine. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's repair. And in case it makes a difference... You can get that from uh, just one or two ships. That's true. That's true. But I mean, if you're like full up on ships anyway, then it can still be worth uh, um, doing uh, attacking some people even if you're not going to be taking their ships. If they're on your way. Uh, 19,000. Yep. So it should be, uh, like 19,000 for all of these now. Yep. And I should also sell, uh, some items that I have because I'm full up on space. There. Mr. Wolverine, how's it going? The best money you get is uh, if you catch a merchant on their way to invest in a port. Ah, interesting. Alright, so first mate will be Emilio and chief navigator. I don't have anyone that's it's indicating is good at it. I think Georg is the best. But I'm not sure.
All right, so off we go uh, back to uh, Sweta. Ah, uh, yes, Miguel, you can you can get a raise. Jerk. Uh, do I have any spare space? I do have some space. Spare space. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, sail. If you want the best cannons and figureheads for your ships, you will need to uh, sink some money into certain uh, shipyards to uh, up their tech level. I don't know that I'll need that. I have the power of save states. Figurehead might be nice, but... So if we run low on water, we'll just pop into a port and uh, get some more. On the other hand, what else am I doing with all of my... Uh, all of my money? <laughs> Portuguese Merchant Fleet. Uh, Luis Costa. <laughs> Come back here. Ah. All right. He got away. Let's anchor and uh, search for some water. About to clear spring. Took one look at me and ran. Yeah, pretty much. Buddy Lunar Dragon, how's it going? good time here. <laughs> Who do we have? Uh, I'm okay not fighting him. Okay. I'm about to eat dinner, but decide to stop by and say hi. Aw, thank you. I hope your dinner is uh, delicious. Catch up. Can I catch up? Eh, eh. It's still nighttime, isn't it? Dang it. Making those deluxe sandwiches. Mmm, sandwiches. There we go. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Conveniently enough, I have space for more ships! Stop your ship or we'll attack! Uh, why should we listen to you? Yeah, and I mean, I've got two that are uh, being built right now, so I'm not really in that big of a rush for more. Nope. There we go. Will you challenge the enemy Commodore to a duel? I will! I will! Alright, he's got a Bastard Sword. Um, let's go with a Lash to start with. Excellent. Uh, let's do a, a decent dodge. That's fine. Uh, how about a good thrust? Howdy, Redux. Um, any chance I could do one of the Goldbox games I haven't played on my YouTube account? I've played them all. 
there aren't any gold box games that I haven't played. Dang it. Alright, Kinshir, enjoy your lunch. Alright, let's do a strike. Alright, I'm gonna have to just start save stating because, uh, well, it's only defense three. Parry four. Hey, nice. And it got replaced with a lash one. Lovely. Alright. Lash four. Oh, <laughs> nice. Ah, no worries. Yep, I have done. Uh, yeah, I even played uh, uh, Heirs to Skullcrag from uh, Unlimited Adventures. Um, Pool of Radiance. Uh, Curse of the Azure Bonds, Secret of the Silver Blades, Pools of Darkness for the Pool series, um, Gateway to the Savage Frontier, Treasures of the Savage Frontier, Champions of Kryn, Death Knights of Kryn, Dark Queen of Kryn, even played Matrix Cubed and Countdown to Doomsday, which there are not many pl full playthroughs of the DOS versions of those games. Uh, I was the first to do one of those. I can't remember which one now. It was one of those two. Um, yeah, and then uh, Heirs to Skullcrag. The only other thing that I could do that would be actually... Fr and I even did some... Uh, I even showed off uh, Neverwinter Nights as well. The original. We defeated the opponent. Alright, Lunar Dragon. Enjoy your dinner. I did do one video of Hillsfar. It's not technically a uh, uh, gold box, though. The enemy's flagship ran up the white flag. Catalina Aronso completely destroyed the Portuguese fleet. This triumph occurred on January 14th, 1524. Which to seize 25,000 gold pieces from those scurvy dogs. Capture 10 enemy ships. We can add seven of them to our fleet. All right. Let's go ahead and name the uh, Carrick. This will be the Paul again. Did I meet Sandstar in Hillstar? No, I, I also played that long before uh, Kiko did. Just want to say uh, thanks for the content. Giving, me, giving you uh, hours of pleasure? No problem. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I have certainly enjoyed uh, playing it. And we'll have a Paul 2. Alright, next up. Do we have any more Carrix? We do. Alright, some more Carrix. And another Carrick. And this will be the Paul Four. Now we can get some nows. And we will call this the Never. This one will be... something similar, but it'll be the Nevermore. Mainly just because uh, um, I'm thinking about uh, Edgar Allan Poe, because uh, 
Criterion Channel uh, has added a lot of uh, um, Roger Corman, Edgar Allan Poe movies, and I am looking forward to watching them. And then this one can be The Raven, just because that's what I'm thinking about, about now. Well, over 14,000 videos on the channel. Tons to occupy uh, your time to enjoy. Indeed, yeah. I have uh, done a lot. Bit of a fun story for you. The training center you're at shares a building with several other businesses. They got broken into along with the rest of the building. Had a lot of textile and then set on fire. Wow. Jeez. And we got no actual cargo from this uh, thing. Good on gunpowder. Yeah, we're fine on gunpowder. Take all of the food. Like, was it an actual break-in, as in, like, windows smashed kind of thing, Ceylon? Or was it, like, inside job, doors were unlocked kind of thing? If you know. Alright. There are items left in the unloading area. Yes, I know. It's fine. Help us, Wes, save me! We actually got no actual cargo from that. Um, where am I going again? Right, I'm going to Sweat Hut. And because it's a Portuguese port, I should be careful. Smash windows and just replace the one at the entrance to the training company while you're in class. Wow. Robert's navigation level and seamanship went up. Niccolo's navigation level and leadership and knowledge went up. Dante's navigation level and leadership and knowledge went up. Al's navigation level and knowledge went up. Nice. Getting levels for everybody. Apparently it was a disgruntled employee at another one of the businesses and some of his friends. Well, I'm glad that they know who it was. I mean, that might actually get the... Uh, they might be able to get the stuff back. Yeah, it's Portuguese port. It's okay. Anyone we can hire? Let's tell her a story about Armadillo. Animal with bony plates on its back. When threatened, it curls up to cover its soft, unprotected abdomen. It also does the same thing if it's one playing with a ball. Wow, that's so exciting. much about uh, that. Is this not the... Am I not supposed to be here to find Lucia? Better. 
Oh, definitely if I do another uh, game like that, we will, we will be having some more named people. Sleep until 8 a.m. Nap time. Let's see if I can get a uh, get a few of these uh, sold. I should probably also uh, save state before going in, just in case. <laughs> You, the notorious Aronzo, you have some nerve coming to this country. You better make a run for it. We have managed to escape. Good. Yep, yep, alright, alright. Let's see if we can uh, manipulate the uh, RNG a little bit. Let's not lose three quarters of our monies. There we go. Yeah, what brings you to the shipyard? Anything that I need to repair? No. I'm going to sell. Yeah, which one is for sale? The uh, Raven. Fourteen eight fifty. Sell the Nevermore. 14850 again. And the Never. 14850. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and appoint some people. Right, I need to pull off ships first. Emilio, you should not be doing this one. Dante can uh, be in charge. Andreas is fine there. Zaganos. Swap you over. And go over. I don't know of anyone else who might be better at uh, at being cheap navigator. So I just keep I tend to keep him on there. Oops. Need to uh, appoint other people. Emilio and Zaganos for bookkeeper. I wish I could position these these guys at the end of the uh, the list so they'd be the last ones to get um, captured ships rather than having to do this every single time. Oi there, meaty. Will you be shoving off? I will. We'll sail for 19 days. Um, before I do that, so I came back here because I was going to try to get um, Lucia, but I, I'm guessing that's not where I go. I'm, uh, Perot went up to the Black Sea, so I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to go. Can't remember if the order is based on when you got them or their navigation level. Well, Emilio is always here. Um, I don't actually know which one is navigation. So he's 45, 76 for the uh, flag thing. But he's 75, so it's not that. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. 
probably the order... It, it seems to be the order that I got them in. Because I'm pretty sure Benito Gomez is the most recent one. Miguel, yeah. Emilio is 11-11. Oh, okay, so the, uh, on the left, that's uh, um, navigation and combat. Okay. It makes sense that his combat would be better. What about mine? 11-15... My fame is, uh... Oh, is that the, the, the fame order there with uh, 250 fame for trading? 18,542 for piracy, I'm guessing. 2650 for treasure or something? Spain and Portu Portugal kind of hate me a little bit. Um, England and Italy, not exactly the biggest fans of me either. And uh, Turkey and Holland, they're fine with me. Turkey, I'm staying on Turkey's good side forever. <laughs> Treasure chest is exploration fame, okay. But... Is the, uh, the Lucia quest, do I do something here in Sweta, or am I supposed to go up to the Black Sea? Because that I'm not sure about. I thought I was supposed to come back here, but it seems like not. And I'd rather not pop into every building just to... Hoi there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Yep. Sail for 19 days. That's fine. Portuguese battle fleet. That's fine. And you are a Spanish battle fleet. zipping in here. Oh! Portuguese fleet. Brett Perot. Uh, I think we found him. Yeah, that's that story. Perot, you won't get away with lying to me. Last, I didn't think you'd catch on so fast. But it doesn't matter. I wanted to get rid of you, and I don't care how I do it. Commodore, you've gotten yourself in a bad spot. I can't help you anymore. Sorry, it's not my duty to accompany you in such danger. Good luck. Wow. Two of my people just, like, quit on me? get over there. Let's do that. Sail up and around. Let's do a little bit of fighting there. Did they jump ship, or do they take ships of mine with them? That's what I'm not sure about. Uh, 
All right, Seelan, thank you very much for uh, coming on out. I appreciate it. There we go. Down we go. It's a fight. Will you challenge the enemy, Commodore, to a duel? I will. All right. He's got a uh, half plate and a bastard sword. So this is going to uh, get a save state there. Uh, let's go for a high lash. I, I meant thrust. Thrust is what I meant. Nice. All right. Uh, let's go for a decent parry. Excellent. And another lash. Perfect. Down he goes. <laughs> I think I've murdered him. Wow. We defeated the opponent. First try. The enemy's flagship ran up the white flag. Catalina Aronso completely destroyed the pirate fleet. This triumph occurred on January 17th, 1524. We managed to seize 3,600 gold pieces from those scurvy dogs. Capture 10 enemy ships. We can add five of them to our fleet. Yeah, I think they uh, took some of my um, ships with them. First one will be the traitor. Thinking of a couple uh, jerks who uh, betrayed me. Yeah, it wasn't any of the good ones. I'm pretty sure. Okay, another garbage. And... This one will be... Uh, Black Seas Barracuda, BSB. And this one can be... I schooner and can I remember what any of the other big Lego pirate ships were? Not offhand. Right, this will just be CC for the Caribbean Clipper. There we go. All right, so. Uh, yeah, we lost some of the Pauls. That's what we lost. Which I think only had food and water on them anyway. sure how to check, like, loyalty. That's something that might be a good idea to double check. Taking a few uh, of my crew with them as well, but not a whole lot. But that does mean that I need to go find some more people. 
Items left in the unloading area. Oh, actually, um... Yeah, the Redbeard Runner, that's one that I should have gone with. Forgot about that one. Get back up to 60. And you didn't use any. Alright. <laughs> Let's get grab that one one unit of water. Captain, we've searched the entire ship, we've, but we didn't find any sign of Lucia. Brett Perot, what have you done to that girl? <laughs> You'll never find her. She's probably on the far side of the world by now. Better tell us what you've done, or I'll break every... Even if you did defeat me here, there's no way you'll ever stop the Atlan Atlantean armies. They will conquer the world! I don't know what you're talking about, Perot, but don't kid yourself. You're just a scurvy pirate. You always will be. Even so, he said some interesting, some pretty interesting things, wouldn't you say? Hmm. I'm sorry, Atlantis, is this an Indiana Jones crossover? I think it's more that, uh... They're talking about the Atlantic Ocean. Dutch Battle Fleet, it in lace. That's going to be a... Pirate fleet, yep. Dutch merchant fleet, Jules Huygen. Spanish merchant fleet, Esteban Ortega. Slow. I could probably um, assign some crew differently. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's an odd number of a crew on all of those. It's 40 good? Nope. Fifty? Yeah, fifty. Let's see if I can get away with uh fewer. Okay, forty-five. I mean, our ships are ready, so we uh, can sail back and start picking those up. So we might want to do that soon as well. Yep. All right, onward we go. see anyone that we can pirate along the way as well. So I do want to get some more uh, piracy of fame. I got a pretty good amount, though. Way more than any uh, anything... <gasps> British Merchant Fleet, Thomas Grisham. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to let me go? 
go. How's gallivanting around? Well, we're trying to catch up with this uh, Brit British merchant fleet. Kara Din, you better not. Nope, he's getting away from me. I could go attack uh, Karat Din. See how that goes. Uh, but I would want to be able to get the ships from him, so... Ah, uh, lovely Greece. Commodore, our crew was paid 360 gold pieces in wages. Alright, so we did lose... Yeah, we lost two uh, people, I think. We had a full roster, and we got reduced by two. Commodore's navigation level and seamanship and knowledge went up. Your navigation level and uh, leadership and knowledge went up. Georg's navigation level and knowledge went up. Nice. Uh, to be fair, they're all, like, I, I've got a prize fleet, which means, like, minimum crew and stuff like that, so... It's understandable to a degree. Let's go ahead and sell off some things. Ruby Scepter. A scepter with a huge ruby the size of an egg at the top. 2,500 gold pieces. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell the uh, ruby scepter. 25,000. I'll take it. Malachite box. Sure. So I think some. Uh, I, I think we might have been missing out on some treasures by hat being full up on items. Uh, velvet coat. There we go. And mermaid mermaid's bracelet. I kind of like the mermaid's bracelet, though. Probably a... Um, uh, I, I imagine that's just an, an a chicken egg. There we go. That's worth it. 11.062. Jade jewel box. Thousand fourteen seven fifty, sure. All right, how much balm do I have? I got uh, that's six, seven. I probably don't need seven. Thank you. Higher price for uh, two of them, huh? No, you won't. All right. There we go. All right, that's good. That'll uh, free up some space for more items. Uh, we don't need to do any trading. Where is the uh, shipyard?
Actually, you know what? I might need to... Let's go to a different port, because I'm not sure if it's going to try to force me to take the ship right now. And I might not have the uh, space. Well, I don't have the space. Let's see if we can find any other uh, ports out here that we can... Commodore, we found the port of Kappa. All right. There is a uh, part of Crimea. The girls' navigation level and leadership and seamanship and knowledge went up. Excellent. Some pirate she is not having enough space to hoard all the special treasures. I know, it's rude. Start off with uh, our cargo. Well, I can sail up the uh, the Danube. I noticed. might be a, a really good idea. Just to get a little bit more uh, stuff. And I think we'll hold on to the Paul for now. everything is set up. Yep. Yep. All right. And a transfer crew. And I should probably not give up any crew, because I'm going to be getting two more ships, and I don't want to have to go hire more crew if I don't have to. Paul and Paul 2, reference to the Beatles? No. Uh, reference to Paul Carrick, because those are both Carrick ships. <laughs> Bad pun. It's not okay. I need all of the crew there. There we go. All right, so we'll keep everything, and we'll keep the uh, the Paul and the Paul two for now. And we'll sell uh, the uh, Trader, Garbage, BSB, SES, and a CC. What brings you to the shipyard? Uh, repair. 60 gold pieces, that is fine. BSB. Alright, and the sell. Which one is for sale? Is this ship okay? Uh, 29,700. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh, 29,700. Excellent. And the uh, garbage. 700 again. And the trader. 29,700 again. Very nice. Alright. Um, these would get me... Actually, no. Let's not bother. We'll, we'll sell them later. Alright. So we have space. 
Uh, I'll leave my officers as is for now. Oi there, Miti. Will you be shoving off? Won't be able to sail for long. Shall we cast off anyway? Yes. We're gonna get more ships. It's fine. I have plenty of food anyway. <laughs> our uh, brand new ship, but uh, after we rest. <laughs> First of all, I doubt I can get any of you. I'm pretty sure you're all, yeah. Well, let's see what they have gossip-wise. Do you like this Portsmouth tea? Mall. The navigator called Ramsey was looking for a job in Marseille. Right. Ahmed Muhidin. Look awfully uh, European, sir. The navigator called Fagundes was looking for a job in Valencia. Salah Iskal. Navigator called Ramsey was looking for a job. What about, uh, you guys? When will we leave, Commander? That's it, huh? What that alleged food would be at this time? Um, yeah, I mean, you'd get salt pork, hardtack, uh, certainly grog to drink. Um, there'd be, uh, uh other things, too. Fruits, vegetables. I mean, every time we stop in a port, we're getting fresh stuff as well. Where is the attack? I feel like I've just walked right on by it or something. Right, because it's right there. Carmine Ragusa. Oi there, matey. How's life on the high seas? I am a vagabond sailor. Uh, treat. Thank you. Gossip. Well, a navigator called Giovanni was looking for a job in Lisbon. Uh, hire. Hey, are you interested in sailing with us? Your ship? No, thanks. Rude. Can I run him through? Should be able to run him through. Claudia is our busiest waitress. Let's tell a story. Uh, how about, uh, the Moonbow? Rainbow that shines gold and white in the dark night. Legend says that this beautiful, mysterious vision brings good luck to those who see it. Wow, that's so exciting. I wish I could go there and see that. I like how they gave all the uh, waitresses different portraits. I was kind of expecting there to be, like, two portraits or three portraits or something. Maybe that guy was a convert? I mean, I suppose. Hey, damn, it's fine. Nap time. All right, let's go ahead and get our brand new ship. Oh, okay, so I could have gotten the, uh, I could have sold the other ships. Receive ship. Hey there, your ship's all ready to go. Do you want to add it to your fleet now? Yes, I do. By the way, don't forget to hire crew in the ca in a cafe. All right. Rearrange. That's okay for now. 
Transfer crew. that up but that's okay buddy smash tv how's it going got to be a, uh, a stat that is uh, like they're likely like their loyalty to me. It's one of your favorite good your one of your favorite games. Excellent. I'm wondering if it's the fist. time Catalina is only 20 years old yep like no one is jumping out at me as being super duper it's loyal to Portugal that might be it Loyal to piracy, yeah, that's good. I can go to fortune tellers and ask them about my mate's loyalty. Ah, okay. lot of uh, Spanish and Portuguese people. Well, Portugal. Well, to Italy. He should be fairly easy to keep then. Alright, well, uh, let's get someone else on to the dragon. Although it would really suck if that's one that... Uh, Got, got taken from me. All right, first mate. Get back to uh, being uh, Emilio, bookkeeper. I suppose, like Emilio, like having someone else be first mate might actually be a good idea in terms of because then if they leave me, then they're not stealing a ship. There's a fortune teller in town. There is. It's closed. Very rude. Anyone else here that I can hire? What if I keep treating you? Weird that there's no France in this game. You open? Nope. Fortune teller. All right, let's try evening.
All right, it's afternoon. Let's see about that. Nope. All right. Did France have direct control of any ports in 1524? It had direct control of its own ports. I don't know about 1524 either. Uh, let's go for... All right, 18 a.m. How's that? Nope, it won't take it. All right, you can only do uh, a.m. and p.m. I mean, you can only do uh, a.m. You can't do p.m. So I got to just pass some time. Now, it's a little bit slower because it has to re change the... Uh, music, but 4 p.m., let's see. Yeah, there we go. Um, are, are you okay, sir? Ma'am? You, you seem to be throwing your hands in the air like you just don't care. Welcome to the House of Fortune. What do you want to know? Uh, mates. 50 gold pieces? That's fine. Whose fortune shall I tell? Uh, Benito Gomez. Your mate is one lucky sea dog. He's beginning to feel loyal to you. All right. Uh, Miguel Solos. Let's just say that your mate's luck is pretty mediocre. He doesn't have very good feelings towards you. Hmm, okay. I mean, Benito Gomez is loyal to Spain. He's beginning to feel loyal for me. All right. So Miguel Solis only gets uh, crappy ships. That's that's what we're gonna go. With. Mediocre. He's very lo loyal. All right, Nicolo Montaigne is good. He's a good one. Robert Donahue is very loyal to me. Excellent. Georg Scholl. He's very loyal to me. Excellent. Zaganos. Doesn't have very good feelings towards me, huh? Zaganos. Zaganos. Why is this? You're my bookkeeper, for crying out loud. And of course, the story characters should be uh, guaranteed to be uh, very loyal. Yep. All right. What about my career? Very well. Take a seat. You need uh, thirty-nine ninety-six more experience points to advance your navigation skill level, and you need sixty-six oh two more experience points to advance your combat skill level. Not that I know really what gives me any of that, but what about life. You have an average fortune, but remember, you are the one who carves out your destiny. Furthermore, a whole new horizon will be open to you if you increase your fame of piracy. <laughs> Imagine going into a fortune teller and they're basically like, yeah, just be a better pirate. Be, be more piratical. Doesn't have good feelings towards you is uh, 25 to 49. Well, we do kind of want to go to Marseille. Because there is someone there that we can hire. 
Um, and let's go ahead and point. First mate can be Miguel Solis. That way we shouldn't have too much, uh, like we don't have to worry about him stealing a uh, ship. Hey there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Uh, supply. Yeah. Oh, the supply. All. Because I'm going to sell the. No, I don't. Let's just get some water. That's fine. We don't have to go very far. <laughs> so, so slow. So slow. There we go. Picking up the pace a little bit. There we go. Stop in Athens. Excellent. Athens is allied with Portugal. Allied with Portugal? Excuse me. Get a save state there. Can we, can we steal the... Uh, steal this port from Portugal? Because I don't want this ally to Portugal. Gus Johnson. Ahoy there, matey. How's life on the high seas? I am a vagabond sailor. Uh, gossip? I heard there aren't really any uh, capable sailors in Alexandria. Treat? Thank you. Hire? Hey, are you interested in sailing with us? Your ship, no thanks. Rude. Actually, are there uh, anyone... Is there anyone else? Rapal Feliera. Hey there, matey. How's life on the high seas? I am Rapal. I sailed with a merchant fleet from Portugal. Where do I do that? Which which building? Cause I got money and it's burning a hole in my pocket anyway. I suppose I should get my ship. There we go. I want to receive my ship. Hey there, your ship's all ready to go. Do you want to add it to your fleet now? I do. By the way, don't forget to hire a crew in a cafe. So I can invest here, but I don't know if that's what I need to do. That is not what I want. The Ald can be... Uh, yeah, Emilio is already charge of that. I think it might be time for us to get rid of the rebellion as well. Everything. I think we'll uh, we'll sell the Pauls. There we go. That 
on there. Let's go with the crew. Dang it. Just clicked. Andreas should be on one of these as well. Alpha anymore. And I think we'll get rid of the Rebellion as well. Alright, so we'll have uh, three main ships. Uh... there, you get dismissed, that's fine. Um, I need to sign crew. You should just be, uh, well, so it's 75 and zero for lookout and 25% for combat, that's fine. Kalinas. That's fine. Okay. Alright. Uh, not as fast as mine, but, uh, hmm. Alright, how about, uh, didn't actually change its speed at all. I think I might need more people, like I, I might need to remodel that to get more people on it to uh, get its speed up. Yep, this is the SNES. So we'll go with that. All right. Um, that's fine. And let's go ahead and uh, sell uh, some ships. Sell Paul first. 19,800. And the port of the shop to change allegiance, okay? Alpha. There's still crew aboard that ship. Is it okay to dismiss them? Yeah, it's fine. 29,700. And the Rebellion. 29,700. Poor Rebellion, so loyal but so easily discarded. I mean, I've kept it for a long time. Let's go ahead and invest. I won't forget your generosity. All right. Um, I could hire. I could make a new ship, but uh, I think that's okay for now. All right. So we uh, invested in February. Wait hey there, Meaty. Will you be shoving off? I will in a moment. But let's supply all. That's fine. Let's go sailing. Ten days only, though. Oh, 
Like, when we're full up on uh, stuff, that's unfortunate. Oh, part of it is because I don't have a lot of water. I want to go sailing up the Danube. Just because. Uh-oh. Commodore, do you hear that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad events. <laughs> I've encountered mermaids. They're mermaids of uh, the Danube, apparently. The sound of female voices singing seemed to slowly approach the ship from the distant waves. The sweet, bewitching melody enticed many sailors to fling themselves into the ocean. I mean, I suppose the good news is that this is going to uh, reduce our... our food consumption. How bad was that? Uh, all right, so it looks like we lost uh, 25 percent from each ship. I mean, at least we're going to be using less food now. Also, a point of some characters. Andreas can be on that one. There we go. Commodore, we found the port of Belgrade. Your fame as an adventurer has gone up. Right, that looks like just a supply port, though. Not a whole lot here. Howdy, Dark Jade. How's it going? Uh, this is Uncharted Waters, New Horizons. Yeah, there are, but they don't usually entice sailors, because that's more of a, uh, a siren thing. I want to rename this port to give it a nice name, please. Old grade. There we go. Perfect name. Old grade is a nice name. Thank you. Let's go ahead and supply. Alright, so, uh, can't go any further up the Danube here. Let's see if we can go up any of the other rivers around here. There's navigable water up there, but it's not, uh... Obvious. You know what? Let's see if we can hire someone new. Why would you just ride some random horse? Because uh, horses are great. Alright, anyone to hire. Nope. 
Yeah, I'm gonna look in the sea of Azov. I was just like, eh, I'm passing the town. I might as well see if there's anyone that I can hire. And there isn't. Fly. Oh, you there, matey. Will you be shoving off? I will. 16 days. All right. Commodore, we found the port of Azov. All right. No, no navigable water up here, though. Yeah, I'll stop in Azov. Ottoman Empire allied with Holland. too early for me to get my booze on. Rude. Just want to go boozing. Alright, no one at the inn. I guess the, the, the big question, though, is, like, what do I need to do to get uh, loyalty up? Alright. I have a solution. Let's check out at 2 a.m. Nap time! Alright, what goodies do you have at the black market? For limited time only, we are selling some really special items that you don't usually see. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Tax-free permit for Spain. Okay. It's awfully far to get one of those, though. Alright, let's see if there's anyone to hire here at the tavern. There, matey, will you be shoving off? Uh, we'll go ahead and resupply first. There we go. Right, let's see if we have any uh, ports along here. Come on, can we go to Colchis? Go to Colchis. That's Trebizond. I don't think there's any real point in going to Trebizond at the moment. All right, it is March, so we can get back to um, Athens and do a little bit more investment. Italian battle fleet, care at din. Well, 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 well. Let's see if we can. Uh... Oh, no, it's nighttime. Rude. Care at din. All right. He's loyal to piracy. Let's go. Invest in tech, build ironclad centuries early. Pirate Kair Ad Din, your luck has run out. 
what rubbish? You're the one who is doomed to sink. Killing Barbarossa off early? Yeah, maybe. Alright. Well. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm going in the wrong direction. Challenge the enemy a Commodore to a duel? I will. Enemy's crew has blocked your attempt. Ah, oh wow. Okay, that is a lot of uh, people there. All right, I think this is a bad idea. I, I think uh, I think this is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. Our ship has almost sunk, in fact. Yep, yep, seven hull remaining. I think we're gonna get, uh, sunk. Yep. March 11th, 1524, Catalina Ronzo's journal stops abruptly on this page. This marked the end of the stormy saga of her life on the sea. Okay, well, uh, it's a good thing that never actually happened, right? It's a good thing that never actually happened. Well, I didn't, it also didn't help that I lost all his crew from the, uh, the sirens. I think if I'd had all the that crew, um, he might not have been able to block. His crew might not have been able to block me. Is that Kara Din again? Yeah, it is. All right, stop in Athens. Dante's navigation level went up. Hey, it's a neutral port now. Excellent. Uh, let's check to see if there's anyone that I can hire. Gus Johnson is still here. And he won't join. Rude. Fine, fine. We're going to want to go to, like, Marseille at some point. Uh, I will invest again, however. Also, I need to repair my ships. Oh, that, that should... I... Hmm. Down to 97 
which I think just means that I can't get, uh... Like, I think when you take damage, then it just, like, slowly degrades your ship over time kind of thing. Um... I suppose I could go, uh, and get a second, another one, uh, started. But, no, I'm okay. Alright, um, let's get some more crew. It's closed. Come on, just need to do some boozing. Let me, let me do my boozing. No one there. There we go. It's 8 a.m. We can start boozing. Perfect. Hey, sailor, you'll like our grape juice. Our specialty grape juice costs three gold pieces per serving. How many will you buy? I'll buy lots. Wow, you, Catalina Ronso, will buy me the cafe specialty. I'm delighted. By the way, have you been to Beirut? It's around 33 north, 35 degrees east. It's known for its carpet. And crew, crew. Hey, do any of you tough sailors want to join our crew? Rounded up 100 men. It costs you 42 gold per sailor. How many do you, will you uh, hire? All of them. I do it again by just leaving and coming back in? No. <laughs> Makes sense. Can I do that by uh, leaving town and coming back to town? Or does like a day need to uh, pass or something? Let's find out. Nope. Nope. A day probably needs to pass. Or a week or something like that. Alright, well that's enough for now. Um... I suppose we can go back and get some more later. Uh, I think we just need to do some more piracy at this point. Um, could head up to uh, England, Northern Europe. Uh, I did want to try and find good armor, better armor. And I think I was told that it was up there, but I don't remember. How do I save? There's how I save. All right, so when we come back next time, uh, maybe we'll do that, but we will certainly be doing uh, some more piracy. Maybe not go after uh, Karadin. Uh, he, he seems to be a little bit uh, more than I can handle at this point. Let's go ahead and get a raid, head on over to Kikoskia. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming on out. Really do appreciate it. We will be back tonight for some more LEGO building. We will be back on Friday for more Final Fantasy IV a Pixel Remaster and LEGO building, continuing the uh, uh, Ninjago City Gardens set. We will be back on uh, Saturday for more Spelljammer. We will be back on Monday for more Tears of the Kingdom. And next Wednesday, we will return to this and get some more piracy going. I want to thank you guys for coming on out, and I shall see you next time. See you then, everyone.